People fleeing an insurgent attack on the town of Palma in Mozambique arrived at the provincial capital of Pemba on Sunday. They arrived by bus and boat while relatives waited in the hope of being reunited with their loved ones. The Mozambican government says security forces are working to restore order in Palma, which is adjacent to gas projects worth 60 billion US dollars led by companies including Total. The area came under attack on Wednesday. Since 2017, the province of Cabo Delgado, where the town is located, has been the target of a simmering Islamist insurgency linked to Islamic State. The United Nations Refugee Agency says Mozambicans, uprooted by a jihadist insurgency, fled a conflict of the worst imaginable kind, and it is a true humanitarian tragedy. Islamic State-linked militants have in the past year escalated attacks in Mozambique's northernmost province of Cabo Delgado, murdering villagers, fighting the army and seizing towns with beheadings as a hallmark of the attacks. For the latest developments in Mozambique, we are joined on the line from Maputo by the editor at the Mozambique news agency, Paul Fauvet. Paul, a very good evening to you. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to the Globe. Good evening. What is the latest, Paul? Well, the latest is that the Ministry of Defence this evening gave a brief, they call it a press conference, but really it was just the, uh, the spokesperson for the Ministry reading out a statement in which they confirmed uh, that uh, seven people were killed on, that would be on Friday, when a convoy of vehicles trying to leave the besieged Amarula Hotel in Parma was ambushed by the uh, Islamist terrorists. They didn't say what nationality these were or whether there were any South Africans in, uh, involved. Uh, the ship you mentioned that arrived in Pemba today, that, uh, that was carrying uh, people who work for Total and other uh, companies involved in the natural, natural gas uh, exploration. <coughs> the local people from Palmer haven't been lucky enough to get such help. Uh, thousands of them are dispersed, probably still in the bush. One thing the military spokesman said today was that dozens of people have been killed, uh, ordinary local Mozambicans in uh, Palma. They didn't put an exact figure on it. And he said that uh, the Mozambican uh, military are carrying out their operations uh, to flush out uh, the terrorists from their uh, hideouts in Palma, which means the military still does not have full control over the town. Uh, this, come, this came as a serious blow because um, just a few days ago, Total said it was going to resume operations uh, in, uh, in, the, in the area, in the Fungi Peninsula, which is 15 kilometers from Palma, and uh, this latest terrorist attack has put that in doubt. Part, and Total has said now it's holding back. And Total won't resume its operations until it can guarantee security for its staff. Well, as Total says, well, as Total said that they want to resume operations uh, in Cabo Delgado, is it an indication that the attacks have ended? What's the status? Do we know for no, sure no, it's not at all if that. the attacks have Total, already ended? Total said in, on the 24th. Of March, that they were into, going to resume operations. Then a few hours later came this attack on Thursday afternoon. There was a major attack, a three-pronged attack, pronged attack, perhaps involving over a hundred terrorists, uh, and that put everything into doubt. And so Total has issued another statement, saying they're putting their resumption of activities on hold. And uh, they are following the situation carefully. They are in contact with the authorities, the military, and but they will not. Uh, their priority is to ensure that when they do resume, they have the protection uh, of all their staff. They're not going to put the, the lives of their staff in danger. So the, this is a, a serious blow because Total is building, or the consortium headed by Total is building a gas liquefaction plant. Uh, which are crucial uh, for the hopes, more than these hopes, of getting a bonanza out of its natural gas fields off the coast. 
Now, on the 2nd of March, Amnesty International released a report aptly titled What I Saw is Death, which uh, essentially details accounts of human rights violations and uh, government negligence and uh, the so-called uh, indiscriminate attacks, ostensibly by a South African private military company called DAG. Now, uh, there's so many, you know, uh, criticism that has been leveled against the South African government for turning a blind eye on this uh, private military company. So what do we know about this company? Well, I can tell you that DAG does not act on its own. DAG, whenever a DAG aircraft takes off, it's got a Mozambican official on board. The Mozambicans are in charge. The Mozambicans say where they're going and what they can do. Uh, the attack against, uh, against DAG in the Amnesty Airport, uh, report is uh, verges on the libelous. Um, anyway, DAG is not going to... It seems that DAG is not going to be here much longer, but its contract runs out on the 6th of April. So which militant group has taken responsibility? Do we know? Sorry? Which militant group has taken responsibility militant for these groups. attacks? Well, yes. the, uh, the, the group that is, um, the group that is uh, active, the jihadists, or Islamists, if you like, that are operating in Kabul or Ghana, go on a many names. Uh, the local name for them is Al-Shabaab. But, late, but uh, basically they aligned themselves to Islamic State in 2019. And so the Islamic State name is uh, Islamic State Central African Province. So from your analysis of the events that have been unfolding in the past few days, uh, Paul Fauve, uh, do you get a sense that Mozambique is well on course to becoming the epicenter of, uh, you know, jihadist uh, extremism on the region? Uh, it's, uh, there's, uh, there's a very serious threat here. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, and uh, certainly the attacks in Parma and earlier attacks elsewhere in Carmel Delgado uh, put Mozambique in the spotlight uh, of violent Islamist extremism. Uh, and uh, yes, I, you mentioned uh, South Africa and SADC. I think it would be uh, very important uh, if support for the, the whole of SADC, for those countries that can give support to Mozambique, do so. It doesn't have to be uh, troops on the ground or anything, but uh, that the Mozambiques do need logistical, logistical support, I think, and uh, they would certainly, certainly welcome uh, support, uh, uh, for instance, to keep the border with Tanzania closed to ensure that people don't, don't uh, Islamists can't come, come across that way, and to, to patrol the coast uh, to stop Islamists using the long coastline. All right, Mr. Paul Fulvey, great chatting to you. Thank you so much for our update. Okay, thank you.